Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Etos's 850 watt power supply. What's included is the user's manual, six cable ties, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, a power cable, and the power supply. This power supply is currently available in two wattages, 750 and 850. I'm reviewing the 850 watt model, which is enough power for today's high-end computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 180 watts and the 12 volt is 840 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, AGP card and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, DVD, CD-ROM, fans etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. Well the plus 3.3 volt is 30 amps and the plus 5 volt is 28 amps. Now unlike some power supplies that only have one or two plus 12 volt rails this model has four and they are all 18 amps each. This ATX 12 volt power supply meets the new environmental standards today's current testing procedures and protection. Now there are a couple of important factors to note when purchasing a power supply and that's its efficiency and does it have APFC. It's recommended to get a power supply that's about 80% efficient or better under typical load. This power supply is 80% efficient or better. As for APFC or active power factor correction, this is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. It's all steel, so it's fairly heavy and comes in a gray paint finish. There's one 80 millimeter fan, which is temperature controlled and will have no problem keeping the inside of the power supply cool. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. There's also a power status LED. When the power supply is turned on, this LED will turn from a red to a green color, green indicating that everything is working fine. This power supply has lots of leads and they're all sleeved, others are braided. This cuts down on the cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. Finally, have a listen to the fan. This power supply performs very well. It has lots of leads, but they're not modular, an excellent efficiency, and it has active PFC. Not only that, it's NVIDIA certified for a dual 8800 video card setup. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgameman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until next time, take care. 
The only thing that this power supply doesn't have is Bular Modular Leads. NVIDIA certified for a dual oh, 8800 dual video card. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Come again. A great efficiency and it's active PSC. Those are things there are what you should be looking for in a 